something spectacular. <clears throat> you know, um, we know, understand that, you know, Charlotte had a lot of guys out. We had some guys out too. Um, and, you know, tonight for us, we just wanted to come in and focus on us and, you know, building great habits. And, you know, no matter the team, no matter the, who we have on the court, uh, who's playing that night, no matter the score, we want to continue to play the right way. Career high 15 assists for you in this one. How are you seeing the floor right now? Um, you know, um, with x-ray vision, <laughs> I'm trying to at least, you know, I'm trying to get everybody, you know, the ball at the right time um, when they need it, want it, um, where they like it, um, <clears throat> and just to get us some easy baskets. Um, by doing that, you know, it gets everybody's confidence up. And uh, when, when, when people's confidence up, they tend to play a little bit harder on both ends of the floor. So, um, you know, we got a lot of great players. Um, and for me to be able to just find them, and that's what I'm trying to do. And then vintage Blake, you said it out there on the floor. What has he brought to the locker room, and then how important is it for him to be able to come out and, and give this to you guys? Energy. You know, um, Blake's always in a good mood, you know, no matter what. So, you know, when you walk in that locker room, you know, if, you got, if you're down, he's definitely going to pick you up. So, you know, having a guy like that who understands, who's been in this league, you know, who, who's, who's done some spectacular things with himself individually, you know, and then to come in and take a lesser role, um, but still be happy and joyous about it. And, you know, teaching those younger guys, um, you know, how to play and then to come see him do what he did tonight. Uh, like you said, vintage, you know, that, that's all you can ask for for a guy like Blake. And uh, he gives it every night. So, you know, we love Blake and we're glad he's here. Marcus, I mean, you're clearly having fun talking about Blake. You had fun throwing the lobs out there to Luke. Um, to get from where you guys were just a couple of months ago to, to this, what's that process been like for you guys? It's, it's been tough. You know, we had a lot of ups and downs that we went through, especially early on in the season. Um, a lot of obstacles that were in our way for us that, you know, um, a lot of people probably thought we would never get to where we are now because of those obstacles. And, um, you know, when, when you got responsibility like we do because of how we plan, you know, it's easy for you to, to take your foot off, especially in a game like tonight. Um, and, you know, allow that to slip up on us. So, you know, staying focused, staying disciplined has been the key for us. Um, and it hasn't been easy because there's been times where, you know, we are playing so well that you, you tend to, to feel a little bit more overconfident in yourself and we have to humble ourselves and bring ourselves back down before that happens or when that does happen. So um, it's been a balance for us. Um, but Joe's been doing a really good job of making sure, you know, it, um, we continue to humble ourselves and play the right way. Uh, going back to Luke, you said he was doing the Stroh Mile Swift uh, celebration because he's an explosive athlete like Stroh Mile. How has that explosive athleticism helped you as a playmaker? Oh, it's tremendous, man. You can't teach, like I said, you can't teach seven foot. So, you know, to be able to throw the lob to, to, to Luke and him finishing the way he's finishing, you know, I think we have seen the confidence in him grow as well. And, uh, you know, it only opens up the lane for me and Jalen and Jason and Malcolm and D. White and everybody else. So, you know, Luke's been great. You know, he's, he's stepped into his role in the opportunity that was presented to him, and he's taking full advantage of it. Marcus, we hear people talk about being in a shooting zone. Can you can the same thing happen when you're passing too? That you feel like whatever you do, it's it's going to the right guy and it's going. Definitely, you know, you kind of zone out and it's just you out there, um, doing practice. You know, um, practice passes. You know, finding guys in the right spot at the right time. And you know, once you're locked into that, you know, guys start reading that. They start reading your body language and they start making plays for you to give them the ball and make it even easier for you. And, uh, you know, when you get in that, <clears throat> excuse me, that kind of streak in that zone, your teammates see it and, you know, they're, they're excited for you and they want you to stay in there and, and they try to get you as many assists as you can. And, and that's what kind of happened tonight and I got my career high. Hey, Marcus, uh, videos on Twitter of Luke doing his bird celebration, you kind of pointing at the camera. Someone said it looked like you guys were kids in the backyard playing superheroes. Uh, it just seems like this group's having a ton of fun. You're obviously, you know, passing some of the best, you know, playmaking of your career. What is it about this group of guys that just seems like you guys can play so fun, you can play so free in the offense, clearly? I mean, is that um, It starts in the locker room. Not saying that last year we didn't have it, but, you know, we just added more, uh, more of that joy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's, um, you know, coming in. 
you know, with a positive attitude. And if it's not positive and you see your teammate or your coaching staff down, you know, you try everything you can to help, you know, raise that um, um, for them. And, and when you got a team that's doing that and, you know, are happy to be around each other, happy to come in and work every day, you get the result on the court with what we're doing and having fun with it. Speaking of positivity, Marcus, we talked pregame, but what did it mean to you to receive the uh, Community Assist Award for the month of October? It meant a lot, you know, um, um, with all the work I've, I've put in off the court, um, you know, my own dealings um, with the work that I'm doing uh, with my mom, my brother, aunts, and other family members. Um, you know, there's more, there's more than basketball right here, and, and it just showed the human, humanity side of us as, as NBA players. And, um, you know, we go through some of the same things as everybody else, except for us. You know, we got thousands of people screaming and, and calling us names and then telling us we're great and telling us that they don't like us. And, you know, uh, dealing with that on top of, you know, the family issues and, and personal issues that we deal with, you know. So to be able to win that award was, was, 